technical issues there so here we are then back in to our qualifying session so you can see there four of the 11 drivers setting times once more was it a slight lock up there from anyway as digweed goes fastest with a 125.1 so riding on board then with Annie as we come around this lovely circuit around the Melbourne prominent of Australia. It's coming up now through the back section in towards the tight hairpin as one of the penultimate corners. So what sort of time is this from Annie? Is it an improvement on his 126? Yes, it is, and that puts him P4, so he's already two seconds up on that time. Remember, whatever tyre you use to set your fastest lap will be your tyre for the first lap of the Grand Prix. As we go on board with the McLaren of Matt, as he comes on those medium tyres. then through turn five we go trying to clip the apex there but not taking too much of the ground up towards the chicane of six and seven getting down into third gear for maximum traction you can take it in fourth if you're feeling brave enough but we come around now then through turn eight up to nine and ten this one onto the back straight then we go putting your to the floor, gain as much speed as you can. Shifting down into sixth gear through this tight chicane and into the third DRS zone of this lap. And coming rounds now up towards 13 and 14 we go. Nice line there from the McLaren driver up through 14 we go then. Staying in fifth gear up to 15 and 16 making sure to drop the car there a little bit too deep there from Matt in his braking zone but we come around now remember that time currently 124.8 from Annie puts him P1 as Matt goes into P8 so 10 minutes to go in this session then half the field have set their first laps here at the Cone Racing Academy Championship oh as the McLaren driver gets a little bit wobbly coming out of the first chicane uh, Christian Galan then out on those red walled medium tyres. Up now through turn three and four we go. What sort of time will Christian get at the end of the session? Nine minutes and 35 seconds left to go then. We jump on board with GJB then who's coming around to complete his first flying lap with the Ferrari close behind. And GJB goes into six. How does M66? He goes fastest then. A 1.22.0. Two and a half seconds quicker than his nearest competitor. It's a brilliant opening lap there from M66. Am I or not? So your current top three as you can see is M66. Currently P1 with a 122.0 and in the pits your Annie Edouard and Digweed. Demortz is P4, Assault King is 5 as you see him come out for into the pit lane. Lucky Team is 6, GJB is 7, Matt is P8, Selim in P9 yet to set a time on those softer tyres and Christian and Crash are the last two yet to set a time. As you see, crash coming through turns 13 and 14. Now, remember, time to beat so far is a 122.8. Looking good from crash. He's coming down through the left. Oh, a little bit of a kick out there from the car. On the throttle then, as we come across the line, current time to beat is 1 minute 22. And crash goes into P11. P2, sorry. Bit of lag on the game there. So P2 for crash. Still just under two seconds off the pace of our current provisional pole time. But with seven minutes and 55 seconds left to go, there is plenty of time. We're riding on board then with Christian in that silver Mercedes. As we come up through the back section now. Nice and tight through that hairpin on to the long winding left-hander. 
it's a 5.3 kilometer track here 16 turns race le record set in 2004 by Michael Schumacher so that was a 124.1 so already quite a few of our drivers either passed or on the peripherals are beating that time come round now through turn 13 and 14 as GYB is given a time penalty so five place good penalty there for GJB as he has hit one of the other drivers as Christian pits then from his lap Still got six minutes to go then, what will he choose to do? As we ride on board with a lucky team in the Haas, sporting that orange helmet there. Coming around, currently in at P2 with a 124.3. So his best lap overtaking crash to take that front row grid. Will he stay there though as we approach the last six minutes of the session? There is your current pole sitter M66. Oh, and a, a Red Bull driver there finding himself in the gravel coming out of the chicane. That is Annie Edouard. It's maybe pushing his Red Bull a bit too far, taking too much of the curves. They can be sneaky here at Albert Park. Entice you in in a wider line, but if you put that throttle down too fast, you will be sent into the barriers. Big lock up there, then, as he comes through that chicane. You'll be hoping to pit and get another lap on a fresh set of tyres. Come back straight now with this Red Bull driver. Big lock up once more. Those tyres certainly need changing, as does that front wing. So 10 drivers currently set in times, one driver still remaining to set time and that is Christian in the Mercedes. As we see yellow flags in sector 3 once again. I think that is just a driver slowing down as is the norm. So we're on board then with Digweed, his first run puts him in P3 originally. But as you can see track evolution has come into play. And he now sits in P6, but he's on a fresh set of soft tyres. How high can this put them up the grid? We shall see. So as we come up around the long turn, then in towards the very nice chicane at 11 and 12. Shifting down up towards Ascari in the DRS zone, then we go. Coming round then turn 13 and up towards Stewart at turn 14. Quite a nice feature here at Albert Park is that the corners are named after drivers. The likes of Brabham, Jones, Prost, Stewart and Ascari among others. So is he? can see from the aerial shots when you get a chance as the M66 goes even faster then on a fresh set of softs we're currently riding on board with Digweed who is currently sat in P7 looking to put that racing point higher up the grid how good is his first sector he's up three tenths already through the first sector that McLaren might want to get out of the way unless they're on a fly too Ooh, it looks very close as we come up now towards and the McLaren that lets him by there as you can see down towards turns 11 and 12 we go lovely camera shot there as the cars fake left and right back out up towards turn 13 we go Staying in fourth gear then as you come out on the exit, taking it wide. Don't take too much of those curbs though. Up through towards turn 15. Yellow flags once more. Digweed, the time to be is a 1.22 so far. 
he puts that racing point only into P4. Still an improvement on his first time then. Seven tenths better off. He's down into the 124s. But uh, currently two seconds off your provisional pole. So we see Selim there up into P2 then in the Alfa Romeo. What a good first. Interesting to see that the mediums in this race then a race distance which is required to have one pit stop where you must use both compounds of tyres whether you choose the hard mediums or soft is up to you but two must be used if we do get wet weather then it is null and void and you can use whatever tyres when it dries up of course so Christian Glang the only driver so far not to set a time in as we approach 1 minute and 40 seconds left of the session if you're not on the track now then you will be unfortunately unable to set a time. Remember, 1 minute 25, the average time it takes to get around this 5 kilometer circuit, let alone on a flying lap. So we're riding on board with Selim in the Alfa Romeo as Digweed goes P2 then. So down into the 123s, improving on his better time. Three laps, three improvements from the Racing Point driver. What about a lucky team? Can he improve on that P4 and put himself on the front row of the grid? Currently three tenths off Selim in the Alfa Romeo and eight tenths off Digweed in P2. What sort of time will this be from the Haas driver? We shall see as we come up towards the back thing as we drive around this Albert Park Lake down through 11 and 12 we go then on board with lucky team coming through towards turn 13 up now in towards turn 14 as we have just 12 seconds left in this session how will lucky team do can he improve can Christian even set a lap time we shall see as Lucky dives into the pit lane. He will not. Oh, that's a very, very wild line there. What is the Haas driver thinking? Only he will know. So Christian then. Oh, as we see a Williams spun and in the wall. How unfortunate that that driver. Remember, we want a reduced damage in this Kona Racing Academy. All in support of helping the drivers improve. No point in being able to do that if you're out of the race. So as Christian comes through turn 11 and 12 then looking to beat M66 time of a 122.064 so we open the DRS coming out of turn 12 Christian taking a tight line towards the entry of that corner up in towards 13 we go shifting down through into 14 potentially see a lot of moves here as we go into the tight left at 15 back on the power then Remember the time to be a 1.22. Coming around. Where does he cut the beam? It is a 1.22.7. So then. With just a few drivers left. Currently on pole is M66. As here comes Selim. Already making a mistake. You can see 1.44 his time. So with just two drivers left to remain, one of them being himself, it looks like our first pole position in the Cone Racing Academy will be M66 in that Ferrari. Remember, he can still improve on that time as we ride on board with Matt Warner in the Papaya McLaren coming around turn 15, looking to beat his time of a 126.4. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that. So there it seems to be your pole position for this first race here at Albert Park is M66 in the Ferrari. Christian Galang will start alongside him in P2. Digweed rounds out the top three and Selim completes the second row. So an interesting qualifying. Then. Remember, it's a different format. It's a short qualifying. So just the faster time as you can see the higher up the grid you will start unfortunate there for some of the drivers but this is all a big learning curve 
So going into the race then, it will be a 25% race distance. I believe that is 13 laps here at Albert Park. Um, here at the Cone Racing Academy, we run with a fixed setup, so every car is equal and reduced damage, as I mentioned earlier, which allows for you to practice.